right, so today I got some bottom sweeper jigs and some frozen sand fleas from last summer. Um, wasn't trying to fight the traffic to go catch fresh ones. I've had luck, you know, in North Carolina fishing frozen sand fleas uh, with bottom sweeper jigs, but we're gonna give it a shot today um, and see if we can't make some magic happen. We're just gonna put one on just like that. All right, just got a frozen sand flea on. I'm gonna try and drop it right here. Today's uh, not the most ideal days to be out on the water. Memorial Day Saturday. It's, you know, sunny. Pretty much thousands of boats out. So figured we'll try and do something that maybe less people are doing. Probably most people today are flounder fishing. We're just gonna hang by this bridge and see if we can't make some magic happen with some jigs and uh, some frozen sand fleas. I'm marking fish on the bottom. Not very sure what it is. Very tight to the bottom. My guess might be tog, possibly perch. Getting those hits again. Just really tough to balance when you're getting waked every five seconds. Got him that time. Got him that time. Oh. Man. Looks like a baby sheep. Oh yeah. Look at that. Baby sheep's head. First one of the Alright, we're gonna let this beautiful specimen go, man. Get him back in the water, let him get his bearing. There he goes. Got him that time. Oh! Oh yeah. Tog. Tog that time. Alright. Not bad. Ooh. Come on. Come back. Got him that time. Oh, son. Get him out of that structure. Oh yeah, this is a nicer fish. Oh no, 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 no. Gotta get him out of that. Oh, son. Look at that, Todd. Holy moly. Look at that monster. Easy, buddy, easy. Damn, that's a nice Todd. All right, man, look at that. Whoa, easy buddy, easy. That's a nice tog. Gonna hit. Waiting for a little bit more of a substantial hit. Like that. There we go. Oh, there we go. Another nice tog. Probably would have been just shy of a keeper, but still fun to catch. Ooh, easy, buddy, easy. dropping that a little bit closer I'm trying to keep it as tight as I can to this structure because the tide is just absolutely moving and we're fishing a quarter of an ounce right now and if you're not right behind the structure it's getting swept away got him that time I think it's a little tog. Yep. Ah, son of a gun. There we go. All right, let's see if 
if anything else down there. Got him that time. Oh! Trying to get him out from under the kayak. Another tog. Got him that time. Oh. Not a bad, oh, not a bad one. Oh, man. Just had a hit. Right on that little bit of structure. This one actually has it, or if it's just messing with me right now. Got him that time. that time. Bang, son. Oh, striper. Striper with a diaper, baby. I knew that was a different hit. Man. Uh, back here. Look at that. Got the bottom sweeper slam, man. Alright, let's get this guy. It's the bottom sweeper slam right there. Juvenile striper. There he goes. Very fortunate that the fish have been uh, biting today, because when you can, when you're out in bad conditions, man, it can be pretty, pretty brutal. Long day if you're not catching much. But we've been, uh, we've been very fortunate. The fish seem to be pretty hungry today. Ooh. Wow, man, that was a good hit. Interesting hit though. I don't know what that was. That didn't feel like a tog. Could be our long lost friend, the oyster toadfish. Ooh. Nah, perch. Damn, that's a mondo perch. Damn, son, that's a that's a thick perch. Look at that boy. Look at that man. All right, man, this is probably going to be the last drop of the day. Um, to be honest with you, I, I got plans to sit on the beach with the little one today once she's up from her nap, so um, don't want to be late for that. To be honest with you, man, I'm very uh, pleasantly surprised with these frozen sand fleas. You know, I've never really fished them up here because I've always had decent access to live, you know, fresh ones, but... Oh man, oyster toad. 